hello viewers you are welcome to fairly visit you watch channel if you are new here don't forget to subscribe in order for you to get updates whenever we upload a new video on tutorials like this and thanks to all our subscribers thanks for always watching our videos whenever we upload in today's tutorial I will be doing something different from what I have been doing before and uh, uh, that is uh, be, well, before I've been doing tutorials on how GIS and some other thing but this one some some people specifically requested that I help to put up a new video on how to convert points large files large points like a large file from one datum to another using another app as they always have problem with the app they have in converting large file so today's tutorial will now be on how to convert large files that is points that is more than more than one more than two more than one more than two how to convert those points using global mapper so if you have global mapper installed on your system you don't need to worry yourself you can always convert many points as much as possible from any datum to whatever datum you want to convert to so let us see the data we want to convert first and what datum do we have the data now i have a data here which is my i have up to you can see up to okay nine nine hundred and eight points i have nine hundred and eight point that i want to convert and you can see this point i have my latitude my longitude and my elevation you may have data without the elevation so you don't need to bother yourself it is when, when you want to set then you can now set including your elevation or you decide not to include it so it is not a must that your data must have elevation so if you have it then you have to specify the third point i mean the other point to show that it is elevation so this is the data i'm having though i'm going to uh, i have this on notepad i'm going to be working with the notepad so this is the notepad um data that i'm having so this these are the points here the same point i have on my excel these are the points so don't forget the arrangement is the point id my latitude my longitude and my elevation and the my work is um i have it um uh, geographic which is my latitude and longitude and i want to convert from that to utm mina datum the northern hemisphere so utm mina datum northern hemisphere that's where i'm going want to convert this point to so let, let us launch our global mapper now you open your own data file so you go to where you save your work i have it here as tutorial don't forget i save it in uh, excel i mean notepad so i have it here now these are areas where you now have to specify now what you want to import is a point is it line is it area future here i'm having points only features are all Point. so that's what i'm going to click and coordinate column order my coordinate column order don't forget i said i have it uh, i apart from my uh point id that i'm having the next column is my the next column i'm having let me open it is my latitude which is my northern and my longitude which is my eastern followed by the elevation so don't forget the arrangement is very very important so I have to click on this so this one specify the arrangement of my so why nodding which is the first uh now 
it's asking me column to skip at the start of a line don't forget there is no from what i'm having here nothing is uh given i mean uh, there is no specification where i'm having the first column as my something so this is where you specify it i want it to skip the first line which is um this first line is my is my point id so let it skip what i'm trying to say is just keep this first line and this other one should be the starting point which it will now be my x i mean my y which is the latitude and my the second column will now be the longitude which is my eastern followed by the elevation now you come to this point coordinate line prefix so non-coordinate appears immediately after the so I'm going to click this is um this is I'm I'm clicking on this then I'll now have to check this box use selected option for all files so I have to click this then auto dictate or you can specify I can always say it's space or tab comma depending on what you use but I want it to auto dictate in case it cannot auto dictate you have to Special. then if you have if your point is something that you can always come here if it is schools if it's a stadium whatever it is so this point they are just um spot height or height of point so if you have it here you can always click on it showing which is my elevation so i don't the elevation point so you can always click anything here but I'm just leaving it as unknown point features and you come back here include attribute table from lines with coordinate data so if you have any other attribute some included now and I check this box as well treat third coordinate value as elevation that is this other third uh, coordinate value after skipping this so it's starting you the, it starts counting from here so this is my first column the second column the third column must be treated as the elevation because i'm having it as my elevation these are my elevation for those points so that is why i said you your settings will now determine what it's going to be then you click ok after clicking ok you have this is telling you it's unknown projection that means you have to set the projection because you are only importing a, 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 a text file which the system doesn't understand whether I mean it doesn't understand the projection so here okay you can always come here and set your uh, projection you can see we have a lot of projection here so but this one is geographic which is uh, geographic my latitude and longitude you scroll to where you have your geographic so if you have any of this point in any of your own projection you are going to click on that so in my own projection the point i have is a geographic latitude and longitude now i have to specify the datum my datum is wgs84 don't forget i said that initially wgs84 your datum must also the first okay don't forget the datum i'm even i want to convert to is minadatum which is uh yes minadatum um UTM in a datum. So this is where I'm setting it now. This one is WGS84. And my zone, there is no zone because there's World Geographic uh, System 84. Now, that is all I want to do. Now, use the selected projection for all selected points. I can click on that for all the selected points. Okay. Now, you can see it has imported my points. These are the points I'm having here, and all these are the point ID loaded with it. Now, how do I now convert from this geographic to my UTM? You now go and click on your tools. Click on tools here and go to your configure. On under this config configure you have point style vertical option general whatever whatever but here you have the projection and that is what i want to work on you click on your projection and on the projection you have to come and select the projection don't forget we are converting from geographic to utm so here i'll be 
clicking on utm and no longer the geographic so that is where i'm going i'm having utm now it has automatically given me the zone and the datum based on what i have given it but my datum is mina datum mina datum so i have to look for mina datum nigeria because we have another mina datum for uh cameroon so i have mina datum nigeria you have to pick your own so my own is mina datum nigeria and your zone you have to set it my own zone is northern hemisphere which falls under zone 31 zero degree east to six degree uh, which is the northern hemisphere so in case in your own area you don't have something you have to specify the one you want to use okay so now i'm done i have to apply what i've done so far i have applied and okay yes it has been set it has been converted but how do i get my data all i need to do is to export so i want to export when you get to your export you you go to you can see we have different export you export global mapper package file you export raster and elevation data you export vector data i want to export my vector data and here you have other options of vector data you can see dxf uh, kml and uh, lidar all other uh but i want to export csv so i need to look for my okay you can see i have export csv so my export csv is what i'm going to be clicking on so you say all data will be exported using the current selected display projection so what you have set is what is going to is going to export your data based on the projection you have set so just click okay now as from what i'm having here include elevation value for each point yes because my elevation points are available which i have specified even while importing the data so include attribute names of row yes you can always include whatever you think you want to i even want it to export separate latitude uh, longitude coordinate for each point in order for me to cross check so that you will see but at it may not be necessary but i just want it that way so i click ok now what name am i going to use let me use tutorial tutorial convert uh, converted point sorry for the longer uh, name converted points so i have the tutorial converted point as my csv now the point has been exported all i need to do is just to go and open my new folder check where i save it i mean say open my folder now i have it as tutorial converted point i'm going to open this and be sure if okay now you can see i have my x i have my do it's it's array it's arranged this based on its own settings don't forget initially it was a uh, northern eastern i mean uh, yes northern with your latitude and your longitude but now you have your eastern first here and still the value for eastern and not so i have the now i have my utm coordinate of those points and the elevation now don't forget i specifically requested for this as well that's why i checked the box so i have the latitude and longitude and this is the point id so let me just check what i have here now my first point is this which i'm having you know it's it, as even you have this your uh i have my point in uh, decimal decimal degree but here i'm having it in degree minutes and seconds so the first one is you can see the first one here which is our one and this is the value for you you can see the node i mean the elevation 289.353 yes it doesn't change with what i'm having here likewise other point so that is how to convert from any datum to 
any datum of your choice using global mapper if you find this video helpful don't forget to give, to give it a thumbs up and like and comment on any of our videos so thank you for watching uh don't forget to subscribe if you are new here in order for you to have updates on new videos or on new tutorials we upload at any point in time thank you